facts, ma'am. He didn't just retell the story of a babe being born in a manger, but he wanted to tell us something about what it meant for the babe to be born. He wanted to tell us that from the very beginning who that babe was. He reminds us that this one born did not start in Judea with some slap on the bottom somewhere. That he was there from the beginning. From the beginning of mankind. He was there with God. He was God. He was the word that had became flesh. Until finally, the one who created all things came into this world to set our path straight. To set the world straight. It's hard sometimes to really grasp the true meaning of this phrase, the darkness has overcome it. There's a Greek word called Katie Ever. And it sounds kind of like Katie Ever. But really the word has two meanings. The word means to overcome. And the word also means to extinguish. In several versions or translations of the Bible, we see both. But yet I believe the, the, the true translation that perhaps brings things to bear the most, to over, not to overpower it, is that the light came into this world and the world could not master it. See, darkness will remain in this world until he comes again in all of his glory and power. But when Jesus was born that day, he brought a light into the world that brings life. Not just life that shines our way into the eternal glory with God the Father Almighty, but a light that shines in our life each and every day. Christmas isn't about the Christmas trees and the lights and the gifts and the wonderful things that we've come to know traditionally at Christmas. Christmas was about God's love for you and me. The greatest love story ever written. Jesus came to town to make things right. Because of, of my imperfection, because of your imperfection, we could never stand in front of a righteous and holy God. And that broke God's heart so much that he was willing to send into this world his very own son to pay the price for sin once and for all. Christmas is a wonderful time of year. It's hard to consider that that baby being born in the manger was born to die, but die he did so that we would have life. That's the glorious message of Christmas. That baby that came in the manger. The Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world was a light. The world could not overcome it. The world could not extinguish it. The world cannot overpower it. And the world will not master it. For he is the light of God. And his light burns bright in our hearts who would receive this great gift that God gave to us in Christ Jesus. Have you received that gift? Because if you're here tonight, God has brought you in here for divine appointment so that he can say, I love you. And don't ever forget that. On your darkest days, remember the light that I've given you. Remember the light in Jesus. At your worst times, remember, I love you. When the world rises up against you, remember, I love you. And I am the light and the world cannot master it. And death will have no victory because I have overcome all of that. Friends, that's what Christmas is about. I'm going to invite Pastor Nikki to come up and we're going to light this candle. This candle symbolically represents Christ. We call it the Christ candle. But the true light that needs to be lit, the true candle that needs to be lit, is the one in our hearts. 
And the way we light that candle is by saying, Father, forgive me, a sinner. I acknowledge your gift of love. I receive it. And I ask, Lord, that you would fan that flame, that it would burn so bright that when we leave this place tonight, we carry the very light of Christ into this community and into the world so the world may know that while there is darkness, there is a light, and the world cannot master it. Would you pray for us? Jesus. Dear God, I thank you so much for your sacrifice of your one and only son who came into this world to die for our sins. Christ, you gave us a good example, an example of, of what love is, Lord Jesus, in your life, Lord God, here on earth. And Lord Jesus, I just ask that as we, as we light this candle, Lord God, as we light our own candles, that we would remember to follow your example, God. And that we would be a light, Lord Jesus. And that we would recognize that it comes from you, Lord God, and not from ourselves, Lord Jesus. I ask that you would remind us tonight of who you are and how much you love us, Lord Jesus. God, I ask that as we um, depart tonight, Lord God, that we would remember Lord God, the, the real true meaning of Christmas, Lord Jesus, and that we would remember to share that light that you have given us, Lord God, into the, all the world, Lord Jesus. In your precious name, amen.